Good afternoon everyone and welcome to you all. A special welcome to our parents and grandparents and all of uh, those that are joining us online. This afternoon we celebrate, celebrate our newly appointed leaders for 2023. We thank them for putting up their hand to lead and serve our community. Today we also take the time to celebrate the diverse gifts that we bring to our roles as leaders in our homerooms, our houses, in our classes, in the playground, at home and in the wider community. We take time this afternoon to be grateful for our rich individual talents. We begin this afternoon with an acknowledgement of country from Tyler Murray. Good afternoon. My name is Tyra Murray and I'm a descendant of the Yorta Yorta Nation. Today we acknowledge and pay respects to the traditional custodians, past and present, of this land of the Wiradjuri people, who long before us lived, loved and raised their children on this land. We also acknowledge all the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander families in our community and acknowledge their physical and spiritual connections on their land. We come together today to learn, to share and to journey together. I now invite Mr Neville to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Tyra. Today we come together, as mentioned, to celebrate new leaders of our school. Therefore, our prayer today, I thought it was a great opportunity to focus on the many examples of leadership our faith provides. In the Bible, many were called to be leaders. This means they were often placed in public scenes to showcase the beautiful qualities they possess that allowed them to lead nations. The image you see before you right now is the story of David and Goliath, which most of you will know. A well-known story of a young man who is called to face opposition larger than life. Could you imagine yourself taking on a giant with just a sling and a stone? This is what, this is what leadership often looks like. This is what leadership often feels like. You see, God called David not because he was funny, strong, brave or popular. He called him, like so many, because he had a good heart, was faithful to others and spoke truth. He knew he would make the most of the little he had and that would be enough. This is what made him go on to be a great leader. It is true, we are all leaders, but today we are calling upon those who will once again remind us what a great leader looks like. Remember as leaders, we will all have our own Goliath to faith, face in some way, shape or form. We pray today to be stronger together and remind ourselves of the values we hold dear in each other. And for us, that is our five C's, being courageous, challenged, collaborative, compassionate and Christ-like. So join me in saying the school prayer in one strong and loud voice. And especially when we get to our values, I'd like us to pick it up a level as well. So please, join me in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, you have called us to be your people and to be courageous, challenged, compassionate, collaborative, and Christ-like. As we grow in wisdom and love each day in our Xavier High School community, help us to put learning first as we strive to be our best selves. May we follow the example of our founders and be inspired by Jesus, who is the greatest teacher, always knowing that the truth will set you free. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I now like to ask our principal, Mr. Gavin Dykes, up to the stage. Thanks, Mr. Neville. Good afternoon, everyone. We welcome you all to our Student Leadership Assembly today, where we are recognising all students recently elected to a leadership position. Being elected into a leadership position at Xavier is a privilege, and it is given to students who demonstrate and uphold the values of our school while showing leadership qualities in their daily actions. Xavier is very fortunate to have such committed and enthusiastic young women and men 
and this was very evident by the calibre of students who put their names forward to be considered for a leadership position in 2023. It is important that we all recognise and congratulate everyone who put themselves forward. First, let's recognise those students who nominated for school captain. The quality of nominees for school captain was incredibly impressive. And I'm very grateful to Zoe, Steph, Izzy, May, Connor, Isaac, Lockie and Charlie for being part of this process. And to those who recently nominated for a position in your house, thank you for putting your names forward. It is not an easy thing to do and you are to be congratulated for your courage. Regardless of the outcome, I hope you have found something positive to take away from this experience. Finally, let's say a big thank you, farewell and good luck to Ange and to Eli, who today hand over their school captaincy to May and Charlie. May and Charlie, you have big shoes to fill, but have no doubt that you guys will do a wonderful job. I won't speak for too long today, but I do wish to quickly touch on leadership and what it means at Xavier. It is important to remember that leadership and being a leader is not just a position or a title. Being a leader is a personal quality. It is not defined by badges or positions, accolades, rewards. There is no defining moment that creates a leader. Rather, being a leader and demonstrating leadership is a choice we can make and live by in all parts of our lives. It is a quality that is anchored in actions, integrity, initiative and hard work. Leaders can be vocal and they can be well known but in many cases, our leaders are also the quiet achievers who are doing the work behind the scenes. I've been the principal at Xavier for 10 years and have worked with many student leaders. The best example of students demonstrating great leadership have been those who have known that to best lead their peers, they first need to lead themselves. And what I mean by that is these students self-reflected to work out what leadership meant to them and they demonstrated this through their actions. They empathised and advocated respected, respectfully, led through service, were fair and just in their actions, communicated openly and with honesty, built respectful relationships and worked hard. I see many of these attributes in the students who have been appointed to roles today and I encourage all of you to keep building on those qualities as you continue to make positive contributions to our school. To those who have been elected to positions, I am pleased we have been able to come together to witness the proud moment for each of you as you are recognised by our school community. I have every confidence that you will fulfil your roles as student leaders of our school with distinction. Thank you. and I ask Eli and Ange to come forward and address the school, thanks. Good afternoon. Today, we couldn't be prouder to officially hand over the school captaincy of Xavier High School to May and Charlie Summerfield. The role of school captain is one that goes further than the speeches and photos. Your school captains are your student representatives that take your ideas and concerns and address them, them directly with school leadership. Touching on what Mr Dyke said, <clears throat> uh, we would like to pay tribute to the incredible nominees uh, for the captaincy this year. The simple act of putting your name forward uh, is an act of significant courage and speaks highly of your character. Regardless of the final outcome, you should all be proud uh, knowing that you all made convincing cases for yourselves and, um, and demonstrated leadership in doing so. Uh, many opportunities to grow and serve will present themselves to you in time. To May and Charlie, we are confident in, as you take on this role that you will meet the challenges, take up exciting opportunities and do great things. Um, if there's any advice that we can give you, uh, it's to remember why you ran for leadership in the first place and to keep that desire for a better school community at the core of everything you do. Or as Michael Jordan put it, earn your leadership every day. 
Also make sure that Mr. Neville sent you the run sheet for masses the night before and not five minutes before. May and Charlie, we wish you the best of luck and know that you both will do a wonderful job in the role. Thank you. Uh, can we uh, give a round of applause for May and Charlie Summerfield and invite them up? I'd also like to now invite Mr. Buckley up and Mr. Dykstra to, Dykes, <laughs> to pass on the 20, 23 badges to Angelina and Eli. And for Eli and Ange to pass on the badges to Charlie and May. And this is to acknowledge the work that is ahead of them and to pass on their servant leadership. 2023 captains, May and Charlie Summerfield. Thank you, Ange and Eli. We now um, turn our attention to our 2023 school leaders for each of our, our houses. I invite the house coordinators and Mr Young up for this presentation. First is Mr Giannone for Aquinas. In Aquinas, our leaders work to inspire enlightenment through learning and faith through understanding. I'm proud to introduce our leaders for 2023. House Captains, Hope Chater and Connor Hogan. <laughs> Stage six leaders, Grace Gorman and Josh Murphy. Our junior leaders, Roxy Harrison and Samuel Howland. <laughs> Please congratulate the Aquinas leadership team for 2023. I now invite Clark House Coordinator, Mrs Ryan, to come forward. In Clark House, our leaders work to inspire persistence, task completion, fitness and working joyfully. I am proud to introduce our leaders of 2023. Our House Captains, Isabel Webb and Elaine Matella. <laughs> Stage 6 Leaders, Sayapali and Jack Riley. <laughs> Stage 5 Leaders, Ruby Moona and Max Aldringer. And stage four leaders, Stella Hopwood and Isla Peters. Please congratulate the Clark leadership team of 2023. I invite Dine and House coordinator, Mr. Keady, to come forward. We will now pause to watch a short video on our leaders in action at school. Is there any teachers here at Daniel High School who you think are probably? Um, <coughs> Mr. Grady, 
Comes to the world of Mr. Grady comes to the five C's. If you tell me five C's off the top of your head, Colour Hogan. Collaborative, Christ like, Carlton. Did you say Carlton? Uh, let's go back to five C's. Alright, who are you with? Lily. Hope and Abby. Okay, so girls, you're just starting year 12. What's the go with the leadership here? Do you feel like you have to step up? How are we trying to like, make a change for our young kids? Honestly, yeah, as the leaders of the school, like the, the student leaders, I think it's uh, important to step up to the plate mm -hmm. and um, be that shining light for the younger students. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. What, are the, what are the characteristics you see in your good friend Sandy within the EC car? A characteristic of the leader? I think it's because he walks with the people, not in front of the people, which makes him a leader, you know? He sort of he empathises with people, he just gets in and amongst the community instead of just putting himself in the seat. Well, he's on a pedestal. He's in the people. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Same thing there with the people. Sure. Do you want to talk about it? You chose for the world. Yeah, thank you. Uh, how many people do we have? Uh, twice. Riley. Uh, we have it twice in Riley. Twice. What do you think the leader is? Uh, someone that is willing to lead a group and put him in the right way. Put him in the right way. What about? What about leadership in the classroom? Has there been any time in the last few weeks that you know someone's kind of displayed leadership in the classroom you can think of? Uh, no. Student or teacher? Oh yeah, Mr. Tommy. Mr. Tommy? What do you think is good leadership about Mr. Tommy? Oh, he's a good teacher. He's nice. He's nice. Yeah. Do you reckon being nice is a good quality of a leader? Yeah, for sure. From the video we saw that kindness, respect and even being nice is a leadership quality. Indeed, treating people with dignity and respect as a learner and in the playground are qualities we aspire to at Xavier. In our diamond house, our leaders work to inspire gentleness, inner strength, striving for excellence and preserving what is good. I am proud to introduce our leaders for 2023 our house captains, Oki Carpenter and Hallie Hicks. Our stage six leaders, Ryan White, Isaac Wire, and an apology, Charlie Gibb. Isabel Sargent, an apology for our Stage 5 leadership position. And in Stage 4 leaders, Lily Winkle and Tarkin Hines. Please congratulate the Diner Leadership Team for 2023. I now invite Joseph House. I now invite Joseph House Coordinator, Miss Daly. To come forward. Thank you. In Joseph House, our leaders work to inspire simplicity, love of work, courage, and faith. I am proud to introduce our leaders for 2023 our house captains, Isaac Street and Jazz Fisher. Stage six leaders, Rory Parnell and Sharan Prasanna. Stage five leaders, Billy Hilton and Amelia Webb Hunt. And our stage four leaders, Eve Webb Hunt and Basil Jacob. Please congratulate the Joseph Leadership Team for 2023. I now invite Mr Young as a representative of Loretto to present the leaders for 2023. Dean, when have you seen leadership on display? 
Uh, lovely carpenter. Uh, from Glen. What, what, what kind of characteristics you see in Lockie Carpenter? What do you think makes him a great leader there? Uh, he's quite open to communicating and he's uh, always there, always with everyone, always happy, happy to have a chat. Hi guys, who are you? Hi, I'm Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Do you consider yourself a leader, Izzy? Uh, yeah. yeah. What characteristics kind of about yourself uh, would you say are uh, like mental health? Um, I really like to care about people's mental health and I just want everyone to be happy. Yeah. I do. That's really good. Um, have you ever been influenced or inspired by any teachers you have here at school who might be a leader for you? Oh, definitely Mr. G. Absolutely. Mr. G? Sorry, just which Mr. G is that? Uh, Mr. G knows who he is. Mr. G and Odie. What kind of characteristics does Mr. G display that you think are admirable for a leader? Oh, he's just a legend, love him. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? 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 Someone who takes action. You take action. Good man. <laughs> do you consider yourself a way to do it? Alright, yeah. You reckon? Mm -hmm. Are there any times in the last few weeks that you've seen leadership be displayed in the classroom, Joe? Uh, not really, since I've come back. We need a little bit of leadership. We need a little bit of leadership. Who do you think you'd be a good leader for a good leader? I don't know, but myself. Right? Yourself? Mm -hmm. Yourself, Joe? Good man. So you reckon, you reckon you could be, you could lead the people like you said, be not? Yeah? yeah? You reckon you have those bag minutes? I do, I do. He backs himself all the way, Jerome. Thanks so much for your time today. Oh, thank you. In Loretto House, our leaders will work to inspire the way of Mary being loving and thoughtful. As you saw on the video, leadership in our school means to be approachable, to be able to commu communicate and to be caring towards others as well as being yourself. I'm proud to introduce our leaders for 2023, Xavier Brigden and Zoe Prentice. Our Loretto senior leaders, Eliza Hart and Georgia Herriot. Our stage five leaders, Chloe Nielsen and Macy Yeo. And our stage four leaders, Lily McLaughlin and Lara Mayer. Please congratulate the Loretto leadership team for 2023. I, know, I now invite McKillop House Coordinator, Ms Lockwood, to come forward. inspire faith, bravery and strength, being forthright in battling adversity. I am proud to introduce our leaders for 2023. Our house captains, Grace Aldridge and Stephanie Smith. Our senior leaders, Hamish Morrison and Dominic Gibbon. Our stage five leaders, Zipporah McClelland and Charlotte Coleman, who's in apology today. Our stage four leaders, Dion Kirk and Sebastian Goddard. Please congratulate the McKillop leadership team for 2023. you're about to see, you'll see that leadership is about vision, about moving forward and about reflecting to obtain achievement. 
is about having compassion and about looking out for one another. So can you give me some wine? Hello, Mr. Hahn. Thank you. Good, thank you. Viewers? Good. Um, we're just going to ask about leadership. What are your thoughts? What makes you a good leader? Well, I know leadership is extremely important for an organisation. Um, leader is to, uh, I don't know, to uh, be aware of um, the course forward and the, the proper way forward for an organisation. I guess to determine the um, objectives of the, that and the things that I guess the values of that organisation are being important and then to put in place strategies to achieve that. And I guess also, I have to say, to be quite honest with you, mate, yep. uh, to recognise when those strategies aren't working and then to reflect upon that and to try and improve that so, you know, we uh, do our best and we achieve those goals we've set ourselves. I think that's what should finish this well. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. I feel like we're all a little bit wiser from that um, answer. Hey guys, I'm here with Heather. Heather, how are you today? Thanks, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Um, do you have any teachers here at and you think that quality role models are good leaders? Uh, Miss Nero. Miss Nero, what about Miss Nero is so inspiring to you? Um, she's just so inviting. I like her. You like her? Yeah. Why do you like her? Because like? she likes me. I'm a favourite student. Come on, who would say? Uh, Darcy Lee? Darcy Lee, nice to meet you, Darcy Lee. Nice to meet you too. What do you think a good leader is, Darcy? A uh, good leader is someone who can support others and feel supported by them as well. Feel supported, so you can push them for the Yeah, it is. Go to the place. A two way street. Yeah. Yeah. Darcy, is there any time in the last few weeks you've seen the leadership display in the classroom? Uh, certainly. By who? By who, Darcy? Uh, just those who uh, put their hands up first. Put their hands up first? Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be one of those people? Uh, depends on class, really. Depends on class. Who's class and who's a leader? Uh, I'd have to say, probably math. Math? Who's a leader? Um, Jordan. Jordan, 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 In the last few weeks, you think to be quite keen in school? Oh, I am. Marcella. Marcella? Beautiful! And Luke. And Luke. And Luke. Oh, that one over there. Hey guys, I'm here with Luke. Great. Great. Hey guys, I'm here with Grace. I'm Grace, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, how do you think we could uh, kind of see more leadership going around the table? What do you think we could do to foster an environment where people can um, become better leaders? I reckon we can have the house leaders and house captains working together a bit more. Yeah, because think so a bit more collaboration between the house leaders and I certainly do. One of the five C's? Certainly, yeah. Would you say it's one of your favourite five C's? Ooh, that'd be a tough one. It's up there. Quite, uh, more of a Christ-like kind of one. Christ-like, yeah. I'd go with challenge. Challenge is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Compassion is up there. Ooh, good point, good point, yeah. Yeah, I think so much for your time, Grace. leaders work to inspire leadership, working with others, the dignity of all people, courage and compassion. I'm proud to introduce our leaders for 2023. Our house captains are Olivia Bodicott and Jairus Smurden. Our stage six leaders are Connor O'Sullivan and Caleb Delaney. At stage five, we have Shelby Blair and Tom Kremer. And our stage four leaders are Vida Alexander and Sasha Seymour. Please congratulate the Macaulay Leadership Team for 2023. And I now invite Mrs. Miani from Rice House to come forward, please. Right. 
In Rice House, our leaders work to inspire being strengthened by unity and leading by service. So I'm proud to introduce for 2023 our house captains, Carly Thomas and Ty Quaid. Our stage six leaders, Heather Rangarira and Zach Stewart. Our stage five leaders, Alyssa Travis and Jerome Hunnigan. And our stage four leaders, Molly Welsh and Jack Fitzgerald. So please congratulate the Rice House leadership team for 2023. Congratulations to all our leaders. I'd now like to ask our leaders to stand up where they are in their seats and turn towards our community. Can you please take out your pledge? And our school captains, Charlie and May, are going to lead you in our pledge to our community. Leadership is hard to define. Lord, Lord let, let us be the ones to define it with justice. Leadership is like a handful of water. Lord, let us be the people to share it with those who thirst. Leadership is not about watching and correcting. Lord, let us remember it is about listening and connecting. Leadership is not about telling people what to do. Lord, let us find out what people want. Leadership is less about the love of power and more about the power of love. Lord, as we continue to seek to become leaders, let us be affirmed by the servant leadership we witness in your Son, Jesus. Let us walk in the path he has set and let those who will follow. Let our greatest passion be compassion, our greatest strength love, our greatest victory the reward of peace. In leading, up, in leading let us never fail to follow. In loving, let us never fail. Amen. Thank you, leaders, and thank you to Charlie and May on their first uh, start to their captaincy. So thank you, leaders, for putting up your hands to serve our great school for 2023. We look forward to your vision and shaping our community and all the events that will unfold in 2023. Today is about recognising your input, the beginning of your journey, but in essence, today is also about all of us as leaders. We can all choose kindness. We can all choose to act with integrity, to take risks, to answer questions in class, to question the actions of our peers at times and to lend a helping hand. We can all choose to be our best selves each and every day. As the term comes to an end shortly, we challenge you to choose to end strong, to work hard in your classes, to give it your all, to give a smile to the person you pass in school street to wear your hat with pride at recess and lunch, and to be the very best version of yourselves. That concludes our gathering this afternoon. We thank our parents in particular for their attendance and for all the work behind the scenes, including Nick and Sam, Grace and Ingrid. Can I ask that 9.1 and 9.4, Ms Hawkesworth and Mr Young's class stay behind to help with the pack up. And we will move um, to homeroom for the remainder of extended. I'll ask, sorry, thank you. I'll ask Rice, Loretto and McKillop and Joseph to move off first using the exits they came in. Aquinas, Dine and Macaulay and Clark, can you just stay? <laughs> 